special properties of colloids. A colloid is a heterogeneous solution that contains particles of intermediate size of 1 to 100 nanometers dispersed in a continuous medium. Some examples of colloidal solutions are toothpaste, gum, blood, milk and honey. Colloidal particles lie between two limits. They are bigger than simple ions, atoms and molecules yet not big enough to be seen under an ordinary microscope. Colloidal solutions consist of two phases called as dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Particles present in small amounts are called the dispersed phase. The particles present in excess which behave like a solvent are called the dispersing medium. Depending upon the nature of the dispersed phase and dispersion medium Different types of colloidal solutions are formed. Sol is a solid dispersed in a liquid like that of a starch solution. Emulsion is a liquid dispersed in another liquid as in dilute milk. Gel occurs when a liquid is dispersed in a solid, for example, in jellies. Aerosol is a solid or liquid dispersed in a gas such as in the case of fog, mist or smoke. The particle sizes of a colloidal solution are such that they can pass through ordinary filter paper but not through a semi-permeable animal membrane. Observe what happens when a colloidal solution like milk is passed through a filter paper barrier and then through a semi-permeable membrane. Ordinarily, colloids cannot be seen by the naked eye but can be viewed only under a powerful microscope. Brownian movement and Tyndall effect are two common properties of colloids. Brownian movement. The constant rapid zigzag motion in colloids is caused by the unequal bombardment of colloidal particles by the molecules of the dispersed medium. When more molecules strike one side of the particles rather than on the other, the direction of the motion changes. This is called the Brownian movement. Tyndall effect. When a strong beam of light is passed through a colloidal solution, the light is scattered by the colloidal particles. The scattering of light is called the Tyndall effect. The illuminated beam or cone formed by the scattering of light is called Tyndall beam or Tyndall cone. The path of the light becomes visible when viewed from a direction at right angles to that of the incident light. 